Jeremiah chapter 5. Run to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places of it if you can find a man, if there are any who do judgment, who seek the truth, and I will pardon it. And though they say the Lord lives, surely they swear falsely. O Lord, are not thy eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast destroyed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They are foolish, but they do not know the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their God. I will go up unto the great men, and will speak to them. For they have known the way of the Lord, and the judgment of their gods. But these have broken the yoke together, and have torn off the bonds. Therefore a lion out of the forest shall kill them, and a wolf of the deserts shall rob them. A leopard shall watch over their cities. Every one who goes out from them shall be torn in pieces, because their sins are many, and their backslidings are multiplied. How shall I pardon you for this? Your children have forsaken me, and have sworn by those who are no gods. When I had fed them to the full, they committed adultery, gathered themselves by troops in the houses of the harlots. They were like fed horses in the morning, every one neighed after his neighbor's wife. Shall I not judge for these things, saith the Lord? And shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Go up upon her walls and destroy, but do not make a full end. Take away her battlements, for they are not the Lord's. For the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very deceitfully against me, saith the Lord. They have lied against the Lord and said, It is not he, neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine. And the prophets shall become wind, and the word is not in them, so it shall be done to them. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts, Because you speak this word, behold, I will make my words in your mouth fire, and will make this people wood, and it shall devour them. Lo, I will bring a nation upon them from afar. O house of Israel, saith the Lord, it is a mighty nation, it is an old nation, a nation whose language you do not know, neither understand what they say. Their quiver is as an open grave. They are all mighty men, and they shall eat up your harvest and your bread, which your sons and your daughters should eat. They shall eat up your flocks and your herds. They shall eat up your vines and your fig trees. They shall make your walled cities poor with the sword, those in which you trusted. Nevertheless, in those days, saith the Lord, I will not make a full end with you. And when you shall say, Why does the Lord our God do all these things to us? Then you shall answer them, Just as you have forsaken me, and serve strange gods in your land, so you shall serve strangers in a land that is not yours. Declare this in the house of Jacob, and cry it in Judah, saying, Now hear this, O foolish people, and without understanding, who have eyes and see not, and who have ears and hear not. Do you not fear me, saith the Lord? Will you not tremble at my presence, I who have placed the sand for the bound of the sea? by a never-ending decree, so that it cannot pass it. And though the waves of it toss themselves, yet they cannot prevail. Though they roar, yet they cannot pass over it. But this people has a revolting and a rebellious heart. They have revolted and gone. Neither do they say in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our God, who gives both the former and the latter rain in its season. He reserves unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withheld good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he who sets snares. They set a trap. They catch men. Like a cage full of birds, so their houses are full of deceit. Therefore they have become great and grown rich. They have become fat and they shine. Yes, they go past the deeds of the wicked. They do not judge the cause the cause of the fatherless, yet they get rich, and they do not judge the right of the needy. Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. 
and my people love to have it so. And what will you do in the end of it?